My name is Jim German, and today I want to give you a brief overview of my custom MFT table. Now, I've seen the Festool MFT tables for a long time, and I've always really liked them. They seem to have a lot of great advantages. However, they're extremely expensive, and one of the reasons why they're so expensive is because they're meant to be portable. I do almost all of my work in my basement here, so I don't really need that portability. Also, because they're portable, they're a little bit smaller than I would have liked, and they're also not as great for doing handwork, which is something that I do from time to time. So I designed my own table here to use a lot of the features of the MFT table system, but to be a lot sturdier, a lot heavier, and a lot bigger. So what I did is I took the top from an MFT3, got the side rails from it, so that would allow me to use both clamps on the side like this, as well as the uh, guide tracks that go across the top. And I bolt that onto some 4x4 trussle system. So I used some big lag bolts in the corners to make it nice and rigid. And down at the bottoms down here to attach the side rails, I used some nice Morrison tenon joints to keep that nice and strong. Um, primarily, I want it to be strong, heavy, and rigid so that when I push on it with a hand plane or something like that, it stays still. So I think I've accomplished that. If I push on it really hard, it doesn't go anywhere. And the last thing that I wanted to do with it was to add some storage space underneath. So right now I've got half of my sustainers on these nice uh, tracks like this. I wanted to use the Festool Sys AZ ones that they've recently come out with, but I had a hard time getting a hold of them. So I just went ahead and built some of my own little drawer slides here. Quick and easy, not too big a deal. It's just a little tray that the thing slides on. Works great. So with this system, I can just grab each individual tool I want, one from the bottom, open them up, grab what I want. Makes it a lot easier, a lot quicker to get the tools that I need. And they always stay where I want them to be and where I know where they are. And then the very last thing that I have on here is my planer down here. I've always, the planer's always big and heavy, always have a hard time finding a place to put it. So I built it into my table. I put it on some extremely heavy duty slides, and at the end, I can just flip it up, put the braces on, and I'm ready to go. It's quick, easy, always know where it is, and the mass of the planer adds to the mass of my table, so it stays still when I'm going to be doing some hand work. Now, if you're wondering what's going on up here, I'd invite you to check out my other channel, Tool Manjaro, where you can see a bunch of uh, Festool and other tool reviews. And this was actually a project where I was comparing insides of a Festool sander versus a Bosch sander. Thanks for watching.